Great to be with you. My name is Steve Thiel. I'm the pastor of Christ Proclamation Church. I'm here with Luke Powers, our worship director. We want to encourage you to be people who read the word and sing the word. So in light of that, listen to what Psalm 85 says. Restore us again, O God. Will you not revive us again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Now, do you realize those verses are the inspiration of the great hymn, Revive Us Again? Robert Morgan is helpful to us in his book, Then Sings My Soul. Let me read to you the backdrop to that hymn. In his own words, here is the testimony of Scottish doctor W.P. McKay, author of Revive Us Again. My dear mother had been a godly, pious woman, quite often telling me of the Savior, and many times I had been a witness to her wrestling in prayer over my salvation. But nothing had made a deep impression on me. The older I grew, the more wicked I became. Eventually moved out of his house and had to sell all that he had in order to pay for his rebellious lifestyle. After he got it together, he went to school and became a doctor. One day, a seriously injured man was brought into the hospital. The case was hopeless. He seemed to realize his condition, for he was fully conscious and asked me how long he would last. I gave him my opinion in as cautious a manner as I could. I went to see him on a regular basis, and what struck me most was the quiet, almost happy expression constantly on this man's face. After the man died, some things about the deceased's affairs were to be attended to in my presence. What shall I do with this? asked the nurse, holding up a book in her hand. What kind of book is it? I asked. The Bible of the poor man. As long as he was able to read it, he did so. And when he was unable to do so anymore, he kept it under his bed cover. I took the Bible, and could I believe my eyes? It was my own Bible the Bible which my mother had given me when I left my parents' home, and which later, when short of money, I sold for a small amount. My name was still in it, written in my mother's hand. With a deep sense of shame, I looked upon the precious book. It had given comfort and refreshment to the unfortunate man in his last hours. It had been a guide to him into eternal life so that he had been enabled to die in peace and happiness. And this book, the last gift of my mother, I had actually sold for such a ridiculously low amount. Be it sufficient to say that the regained possession of my Bible was the cause of my own conversion. That's the man who wrote this great hymn, Revive Us Again. Luke Powers is going to lead us in that hymn. Praise Thee, O God, for the Son of Thy love, for Jesus who died and is now gone above. Hallelujah, Thine the glory. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, Thine the glory. Revive us again. slain, who has borne all our sins and hath cleansed every stain. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. Revive us again. Fill each heart with thy love. May each soul be rekindled with fire from above. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. 
thine glory, revive us again. Amen. Well, what a great reminder. All glory and praise to the Lamb who was slain, who has borne all our sins and has cleansed every stain. See, that's a great reason for us to rejoice, even in the midst of a world that is totally unstable, even in the midst of a worldwide pandemic, we have every reason to praise our great God and Savior. Hope that's an encouragement to you from a proclamation perspective.